Hello everybody, welcome for another episode of Mondays with Mate. Uh, thank you so much for the comments for the last episode where you really liked to have a guest, uh, which was Adriano, our head of design. Today we have another guest, the C2. Uh, so the car is not speaking yet. We are working on that, so I'll speak for the car. Today we'll talk about what will change from this car to the car you'll see in Geneva. In Geneva we are going to show you the final car which is very different from the car you see here. If I would have to tell you what is different, I would say, in short, basically everything. So why is that? Because the development of a car takes three or four years. And when you produce prototypes, you basically take a snapshot of the development process at that time, and the development process continues, but the snapshot you take of the data and all the drawings, you take that off and you start producing parts, you start assembling the car, and until you have the car done, Basically, the development process is already six months or so further. So the actual physical car is six months like less developed than the development process itself. So this car is a snapshot of our development process from something like, I think one year ago or maybe 15, 16 months or something like that. From this car to the car you'll see in Geneva, absolutely everything has changed. But let's talk about some of the main things. Uh, so starting at the front, uh, we will have very different aerodynamics and like we had to change some things because of homologation. So for example, because of some uh, pedestrian impacts and pedestrian protection and some uh, crash tests, actually the front of the bonnet, this piece here, will be part of the bumper and will not be part of the bonnet. So the bonnet will start a little bit further above because of some regulations basically. So it will look pretty similar but actually every surface has changed. We got a lot of questions about the lights, why they are different to the cars we, show, we showed so far. Well, this is because lights are very long lead time parts. They have dozens of plastic components inside, like uh, transparent lenses and transparent covers that require very expensive and very long lead time tooling. And that's why usually the lights are the last part you get for the car. For this phase of testing, the lights were not important to us. So we just did something as a placeholder to be able to test the car on the road. Uh, so the final lights will be shown in Geneva and they are completely different, of course, than here. The wheels are going to be quite different as well in Geneva. So these are some prototype testing wheels, but we are developing our own wheels for the car. So we'll show the final production wheels, but of course the customers will have a few choices of our own designed wheels. Tires are uh, specifically made for this car and we have a car in Ardo that's running all the times where we are testing together with Pirelli and improving the tires all the time. So this is improving as well. And we'll show also the final production uh, brakes, uh, which are developed together with Brembo, which are custom made for this car as well. Moving further to the back, uh, we'll skip the interior for now. I'll keep that for the last. So here we have the camera for the uh, face recognition system and for the autonomous driving. This will pretty much stay the same, but we have improved a lot the aerodynamics, the flow through the, through the rear and especially for the air intake for the rear powertrain. So this is our cravat, as we say. So this is like the symbol of Croatia, uh, as the tie is something that identifies, identifies Croatia. Um, and you can see the three LED strips. So basically an idea is that they can uh, be illuminated in the Croatian uh, flag colors. And the whole area here for the air intake, which is not only for the powertrain, but also for the rear brakes, has been developed a lot and uh, you might not see the changes immediately, but there has been many, many hundreds of loops to, to get to the final shape. Uh, then in the rear, what you're currently missing is a caliper. So this is only the main brake caliper, but we also have an electric um, parking brake. So we don't have a parking brake on this car because the parking brake is a separate electric caliper, which is also a Brembo component, which, is not, which was not done at the time when we were building this car. And then the rear is going to be completely different. So obviously the uh, lights, are also the only placeholders here in the rear. Uh, the spoiler system, the active aerodynamics for both the spoiler and for the diffuser are going to be improved and changed a lot. And what we can see here is the trunk. And you can see tons of stuff in here. ECUs, this is the NVIDIA supercomputer, the charger, the DC-DC components, the black box, and lots of other stuff, which is now filling up all of these things, but we have miniaturized it. So the DC-DCs, which are currently like something like this size, in the end, in the production car, are shrunken to a really small size. So we have reduced the size like 80, 
So there will be quite a significant uh, room for storing your stuff. So this will be what we want to be like a usable road car or a usable supercar where you can go on a trip and store your stuff. Then here in the rear, uh, the whole rear part is completely changed. So the rear um, uh, bumper is a completely different design uh, because of our dynamics, because of crash testing. Here we have a radar which needed more space, so this is a little bit increased. We have cameras, ultrasonic sensors, radars on the side. So this has changed to accommodate for all these components. And as you can see here, we even have a Krapovic exhaust pipes, <laughs> which is a little joke. Um, yeah, so these are the, the exterior changes. First glance, the car will look very similar, but trust me, we didn't have one carryover component from this stage of the development to the production car in terms of tooling or geometry. Everything has been changed and improved. So uh, even though maybe it's not visible, we wanted to improve even if it's just a few percent to get a better car. Let's now talk about the interior and what we changed there. So the interior is basically where the biggest changes happened. So the purpose of these uh, phase of prototypes was to test the crash testing behavior, vehicle dynamics, suspension, powertrain. A lot of the interior parts were improvised. One of the obvious things is the steering wheel. As we are going to do global homologation, we need to make sure that we fulfill the requirements also in the US, which means it has to be a two-stage airbag. So this was not developed at the time when we were producing this prototype. So this is just a placeholder. And you can see we have buttons here, or the electronics of the buttons. The buttons themselves are missing, so this is also our own hardware, like most of the car. And that means that the controls of the car will be on the steering wheel, will not have column controls. You can see also lots of 3D printed stuff in the car, like this. So this will obviously not be the final status. And this button here, uh, like this is for turning the car on and off and choosing the gear. On these knobs, we are controlling the main functions of the car. Here, it's just turning it on and choosing reverse or going forward. On this uh, knob, we are choosing the mode and the stability of the system, of the torque vectoring. And here we are choosing the distribution of the power front to rear. But currently, we don't have a screen inside. The production car has actually a screen for each of them, where when you change the parameters, you see what you are changing. So we didn't want to have that on the touch screen, but to have the main controls of the car on a physical button that really feels good when you turn it. Then uh, we have improved the ergonomy of the car, meaning getting in and out and sitting in the car, like where you rest your arm and so on. So all of these things on the doors and in the middle console are changed. We can also see that in the middle, we have 3D printed buttons that are just placeholders at the moment. So of course, this will be totally different on the production car with machined aluminum parts that really feel nice to push. Uh, we have a very basic screen, both for the central console and for the uh, cluster, which are just now data for the engineers and for the test drivers to know what's going on. But in the production car, they will be, of course, completely different. And then we have a bunch of cameras inside. So you'll see the front stereo cameras, which are used for the autonomous driving system, but also two cameras that are uh, placed inside the car. So this one is monitoring the driver. This one is looking at the driver and on the road. And the purpose of these cameras is a little bit different. So this one is making sure uh, that the system knows what the driver is doing. So for example, if you are on a track and use the driver coach system, then if you are not paying attention to the road, the car will not drive you 300 kilometers per hour autonomously. So you have to pay attention and this camera is making sure you're doing that. But also to recognize the driver for safety reasons, uh, for security, if you don't have your key with you and stuff like that. And this camera is an action camera uh, where the car records basically the videos, which you then can share uh, on social media or have it uh, for yourself to analyze your driving later. And we can see some safety buttons here that are just stuck here with duct tape to uh, press them if something uh, goes wrong. Luckily, we didn't have to use them so, so far. Um, yeah, so basically the whole interior is going to completely change and be on a completely different level uh, when you see the production car. Uh, but this was well enough for the purpose of the prototype car. So I hope that this has given you a short overview of uh, what will be presented in Geneva. Uh, for those of you who can't wait, uh, so we will uh, have the opportunity to go into the details of the new car soon. Uh, I hope you'll like the changes, I hope you like the final car, and we are very much looking forward to show you then also the final car in action. So until then, have a nice day, a nice week, 
Uh, and until the next episode of Mondays with Mate. <laughs>